Excellency Chamberlain, Lady Zuleika has summoned you. Let's go. Greetings, Lady Zaleka. Greetings to our young, handsome Chamberlain. You still avoid looking at me, Yusarsif. I have summoned you here to once again repeat my request. As I'm sure you know, my answer remains the same. Are you still angry with me? I apologize for that day. I will not sin, and you will not get what you want. You know, Zaleka is a stranger to the negative answer. I love you. And I will do everything in my power to have you. Even send me to the fires of hell? Fires of hell? No. But prison, yes. Don't force me. Stop it, my lady. Don't make us the talk of the town again. Excellency Potiphar has not wronged us. Do not play with his reputation again. I didn't summon you here to advise me. It seems that you won't obey. All right, then. You may leave. But know this. Instead of a heart, Zaleka. We'll have a stone in her chest from now on. Leave. has become worse than prison for me. I am always expecting conspiracy and deceit. I am always worried about new libels and accusations. You don't want to obey Zaleka's orders. So escape. I will help you with it. Then I have confirmed all libels by my escape. Oh. Go to Pharaoh Amenhotep. He will help you. Why Amenhotep? Without a doubt, my god is much mightier than he is. And he is seeing what I am doing. Can Excellency Potiphar do nothing? He realized Zaleka was to blame. But what did he do? There must be a way. They've threatened to imprison you. We must do something before it's too late. I'd prefer to go to prison than commit the sin these women asked me to do. I take refuge in God, the Almighty, the Omnipotent, and will be patient, and I will await what the future holds. I submit to God's will. There is no step I haven't taken, no secret I haven't revealed, no desire I haven't expressed. I have lost shame and have even implored him. You tell me what to do. The aristocrats, the women of Egypt, 
who have been my past enemies, believe that imprisonment is the only solution. As you and the aristocratic women of Egypt have the same pain, the remedy should be the same. I too choose prison. Very well then. I'll send him to prison. As of today, you Sarsif, we'll see another face of Zaleka. The luminescent face of love in Zaleka will change into the dark face of hatred. of Pharaoh Amenhotep. May the gods bless you. He is a true believer in Amon. I often see him worshiping Amon. These days, Amon, our great god, is sorrowful. Some people have been conspiring against him for some time and intend to destroy Amon. His followers have become ignorant and do not support him. But I still know people who worship Amon devoutly. Really. They are numerous, Your Eminence. I am worried that the few remaining followers, too, will leave Amon. Unfortunately, we cannot tell everything to the people. Because it will disappoint them. Excellency Kimini said something about Amenhotep and Potiphar. But it's a little hard to believe. At first, we didn't believe it either. But now we know that Amenhotep III has ordered Potiphar to mobilize his troops to attack the temple and destroy Amon and his worshippers. Your Eminence, to tell you the truth, I have realized that Pharaoh Amenhotep is not on good terms with Amon or the temple priests. But I cannot believe that he is the enemy of Amon. You know, he has semi-god status. He is the son of God. That is the painful point that makes his sin graver. He must be the servant of the gods, and instead he is betraying the gods. If he can succeed in raiding the temple with the help of the infidel heathen Potiphar, he'll eradicate both Amon and his followers. We must do something. We must. Why does his eminence not mobilize troops and fight Amenhotep? Because then, thousands of innocent people and the priests of the temple would be killed. No, I can't commit such an atrocity. Then what? We cannot just do nothing. I think in order to prevent massacre and to defend Amon, we must eliminate the main warmongers. First, Amenhotep, and second, Potiphar. We are looking for someone to carry out this important mission and to please the mighty god, Amon. No, no, I can't do that. I cannot kill a god. He is a semi-god. No, I cannot do it. You know that I am the high priest of all Amon, and I have semi-god status. I ask you. Is the guilt of a semi-god who is hostile to gods not graver than ordinary people? Besides, by doing this holy mission, you have saved both Amon from destruction and the life of thousands of people. What about my own life? 
and my wife's and my children. No danger is threatening your family. It is very easy to do. I will tell you how to do it. Why would you want to stay just a simple table decker forever? Why shouldn't you become a treasurer or the head of Egypt's agriculture? Me? Treasurer? Head of agriculture? In addition to the hundreds of gold coins that will exempt you from hard work for the rest of your life. How many gold coins exactly? How does a thousand sound? <laughs> Two thousand. I'm thinking because I have a friend in the palace who will need to help me. And so, if there are 2,000 coins... 2,000? All right. Because we must use Aban's great wealth to protect him. Your Eminence, if for some reason we didn't succeed or we are caught, what will happen to my wife and children? If you do get caught, you mustn't say a word about me, nor Kimini, or any of the high priests. And your wife and children will be protected by Amon. But if you say even one word, your family and relatives will all be cursed by Amon and destroyed. Excellency, Lady Zuleika requests entry. The Canaanite slave has revealed that night's incident despite your orders. What trick are you planning now? Just tell the truth. Apparently, you don't know just how much this has disgraced us. People everywhere are saying that the governor of Egypt has witnessed the copulation of a slave with his wife, but has ignored it. No imprisonment, no shackles, and not even a lashing. Are you asking me to imprison an innocent man? First, he is not innocent. He has revealed a secret. Second, what I mean is a superficial, temporary measure. What, for example? You should imprison him. Imprisoning Yusar Sif will undoubtedly silence the gossip mongers. Is His Excellency's decision? I need some time to think. You may leave. I'll answer you later. Papas, what is it? I've come to visit a friend. Is there a problem with that? You so rarely come here. What has happened? 
I don't know what to say or where to start. One sometimes needs to see an old friend to pour out his heart, to seek help. What can I do for you? You know, I'm a true believer, and I can't tolerate insult to gods, especially to the great Amon. In that, we are similar. Has someone insulted Amon? Yes, you know who I mean, and you have witnessed him insulting Amon. I think I know who you mean. Pharaoh Amenhotep, right? We too have many times seen him insulting Amon. What can we do? After all, he is the Pharaoh. And we have to keep quiet. I wish he were only just insulting. But he intends to take action against Amon and massacre his followers. May the gods have mercy on us. If that is true, a big war will break out. Thousands of people will die. If you could prevent the bloodshed and save Amon and the priests in his temple, would you do it? Definitely. But the likes of you and I can't prevent a war. We can't stop Amon and Amenhotep's armies. But you and I can prevent a waging war. Please talk plainly and clearly. How can we prevent Amenhotep from waging war? That is what has occupied my mind. I came to you to find a solution. A solution? And what, for example? Do I put my hand to Amenhotep's mouth so he doesn't wage war? We can't put our hands to his mouth, but we can keep his mouth shut forever. By God! Are you crazy? Stop it! Your mind? Iterus, didn't you just say you wanted to prevent the fall of Amon and the massacre of people of Thebes? I did, but not like that. Amenhotep is a semi-god. No one can kill him. No, Amenhotep isn't a semi-god. If he were, he wouldn't fight Amon and the Holy Temple. Such a big deed requires a great deal of thinking. We can't do it without being prepared. How can we kill Amenhotep as easily as you say we can? He is protected by hundreds of guards and soldiers. We can. It requires only a little poison. We need neither armies nor strength. But I... Can't do anything against a god. If Amenhotep is a god, as you say, then his guilt is more serious. I think the destruction of only one god is preferable to the destruction of all the gods and the massacre of thousands of people. I believe we must think some more. Yes, we must. It is not advisable to haste. We must hasten. What if Amenhotep issues the order to attack the temple tomorrow? Can you imagine the calamity? Then we still have until tomorrow. Let me sleep on it. I'll return tomorrow. If you don't help, I won't be able to do this alone. I need your help. Just make sure that you keep quiet. That's all. What if we don't succeed? What if he, the son of God, found out our secret? 
And if we succeeded, would Potiphar and the officers of Egypt spare our lives? What would happen to our wives and children? What if Apophis does it alone and names me as his accomplice? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't. In our room. In our room. Who is it? What do you want? Pharaoh, the man of death wants wine. Certainly. I am coming. Right away. Excellency user seat. Excellency. Excellency user seat. Excellency Potiphar has summoned you. What's the matter? Is it the first time Excellency Potiphar has summoned me? Since the incident occurred? Yes, it is. It must be important. Don't worry. I don't fear anybody with God Almighty watching me. I'll be back. I told you to forget everything and not reveal it to anyone! Yuzar Sif is not an ingrate. He feels indebted to you and cannot be indifferent to your honor. Did you talk or not? I would never do such a thing. Then how does everybody know about it? I wasn't the only person who was there. I know I'm being unreasonable. But I don't know what to do with you. You are my son and enemy. Both at once. I am desperate too. Despite its greatness and beauty, this palace is dark to me. I can't bear the constant plots of the women and the snide remarks of the palace residents. Zuleika has asked me to imprison you. What do you say? Then she has done me good, unknowingly. I don't understand what you mean. My imprisonment will put an end to the snide remarks and help Lady Zaleika forget about me. In addition, the priests can then not accuse you of consulting a foreigner. And I'll be saved from the traps of the women of Egypt. Do you really prefer jail to freedom? Nobody likes prison. But what else is there? Imprisonment is the solution for the time being. I must go and see Amenhotep. I'll decide what to do with you later. Tell them to ready my chariot.
A puppet. What's wrong with him? He doesn't look well. Well, he is just unwell, your highness. It's nothing serious. He'll be fine, your highness. Enjoy your meal. I can't let you eat it. It's poisoned. You traitor! Your wine was poisoned, not my food! to kill you. He poisoned your wine. He's lying, your highness. He gave me poison to put in your wine. All right. Both of you have wine and food. Otherwise, I'll drink wine from your skulls right here. Your highness, I didn't poison your wine. Be sure. All right, it's your turn. Now you eat that. You saw Inarus drink the wine. Eat! tried to kill me in my own palace. They must be punished for treason. Behead them now, both of them. My lord's command will be carried out. But I suggest that you wait a while. Are you joking? You want to give them a chance? No, my lord. We must investigate more. I suggest we wait until we find their accomplices. Your Highness, clearly they were following orders. They were not alone. I will interrogate them personally. All right. Investigate them and have me informed. I'll be waiting. is all about.
You first, Apollos. Who asked you to poison the Pharaoh and his entire family? No one. It was all my idea, just me. Why? What wrong had the Pharaoh ever done you? I heard the Pharaoh of Manatep had told you to attack Amon Temple and all the priests and destroy Amon once and for all. You heard it? Who told you that? Uh, nobody told me. I overheard it. Yes, I was standing by the palace door and overheard You're lying. My meetings with the Pharaoh are carefully guarded, so there is no eavesdropping. Very well. You'll tell the truth eventually. Well, you tell me. I really don't know. Yesterday, Apophis told me that you had been ordered to destroy Amon Temple, and Amon's temple in Thebes. He asked me to poison the Pharaoh's wine, but I didn't do it. You saw. I gave the poison to you. Was there anybody else that contacted you? Did you see anybody contact Apophis? No, I didn't. I saw nobody but him. They will be found if they stay here. Transfer them to Zavira prison quickly and in secret. And make sure you do it in a way that they cannot be recognized. <laughs> Black or white, free or slave, man or woman. All are humans created by one God. Nobody is superior to anybody else, except in humanity and humane qualities. Karimama does not usually come amongst the slaves. It must be something important. May I talk with you in private? Lady Suleika has gone to Potiphar to ask him to imprison you. Do something before it's too late. For example? You just have to show a little kindness towards her, and everything will be all right. Satan is talking through your tongue. Satan has instigated you women against me and has sown the seed of hatred. As long as you obey Satan, the fight will go on. You shall never find me obedient. If God does not save me from their evil and does not grant me refuge, I don't know what will happen to me. What did she say? What does she want from you? Let me tell you. Now, Yuzarsif must choose Lady Zaleika or prison. To escape the women, I will choose prison. Prison's hardship may be long, but it will end. But nobody knows when the adulterer will be saved from the fires of hell. What fire? You're choosing prison instead of an imaginary fire? I have never seen a wise man choose prison over beautiful women. Excellency Rodamon is coming.
What is it, Radaman? You look sad. At last, Potiphar gave the order to imprison me. You said you hadn't seen a wise man who... A wise man? Prefer the hardship of prison over beautiful women. Let's go, Radamon. Do not frown. Yuzarsif is not sad. Let's go. They're bringing him now. I'll be back presently. What's the matter? Lady Zuleika did it at last. So Yuzasi is going to prison. We know that you are innocent. Little witness, although you've judged correctly, they are taking me to prison anyway. I submit myself to his will. Perhaps it is my fate. Take care of her. This is the result of disobeying your lord, I'm afraid. On the contrary, this is because I obeyed my lord. He inflicts more suffering on the ones he likes most. <laughs> How can we bear the pain of separation? <laughs> no need to worry. Prison is freedom for me. Thank my God for freeing me from the prison of this palace.
The warden of Severa Prison is Kidderman, my friend. Do not worry. My best friend, too, is in Zavira prison. He is the one who created Kidaman. I'm not worried in the least. Now go. Greetings to Excellency Horamhawk. Thank you. Why did Excellency Horamhawk come himself? It was Excellency Potiphar's orders. I had to come in person. Warden. A word. They are the cupbearer and table decker of Pharaoh Menetep. Inarus and Apophis. Nobody must contact them and reveal their names to nobody. And if anybody asks about them, inform Excellency Potiphar immediately. Also, their cell must be separate from the other inmates. Yes, Excellency. May I ask what the charge is? Attempted murder of the Pharaoh and his family. Some people would wish to kill them, Watch them carefully, and keep them anonymous. Yes, Excellency.
Take them both to solitary. Is he a prisoner? Yes. Excellency Potiphar has sent him. Excellency Rodamon said this prisoner is more honorable than all humans. Rodamon, the chief of the guards in Excellency Potiphar's palace? Yes. The prisoner is Yusasif, the former advisor to Excellency Potiphar. You may leave now. You don't belong in prison. Why did they send you here? Because I disobeyed my lord. Well, you will learn obedience here. You just don't look like a servant or a slave. Don't disappoint me. I hope I will be a good servant. We'll see about that. Make sure you don't get into a fight with the inmates of Zavira. They're dangerous. Take him to the ward. Take his collar and jewelry and shackle him. <laughs> 